everybody, I'm Steamerboss1 fan, and welcome back to Let's Play Muzzle. Now let's get right down to business. Because we're in the home stretch, I believe. Either one or two more games. Um, um. Huh? Boney! We're slowing down already. Muzzle, your blinking ride's not fit for service. Blinking Shit. engine must have, uh, um, <laughs> died again. Ah, there we go. Woo! Oh, there we go. There's the cookie. It wasn't loaded because I left the, <laughs> the exit. You. <laughs> uh, shit. Sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Now I get to play with Wallace. Oh, what fun. Whee! Oh, hello. They died Richie. from falling. Gromit was looking for you. Enjoying the fair? Oh, I see. You'd like to have a go on the ride? Well, I don't know. Where the heck's Gromit? He should be showing you around. Uh, no, well, uh, I suppose I can take a break. Let's go. I don't know if they let dogs on board, Twitch. Steady on. I know it's not fair, Twitch, but we can always ask. E easy there, boy. Got quite a bit of strength for a little fella. Thinking more. You mean poor Gromit's inside the ride? What happened, lad? Monty Muzzle? Heavens above. Uh, Twitch, you better stay out of sight. I've got to see about getting Mr. Muzzle to shut down his ride. Oh, God. I don't even look at how creepy that thing is. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned Gromit. <laughs> One last bite, and another pie is gobbled by Gabbily. Oh, yes, everything seems to be in order here. Nothing to report. Woohoo! That blooming Bobby has been up there for an hour or more and won't get off. Says he's carrying out an inspection, but he won't find anything untoward on any of my rides. Everything's above board here. Oh, uh, 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 of course. And what's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. Your rides had a spot of mechanical trouble, I see. Oh no, no, that, 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 that's nothing. Um, purely cosmetic. Um, the uh, um. <laughs> Uh, inner mechanics still run like clockwork. Oh. Uh, had to institute a weight limit, though. Uh, don't want any heavy hands bringing things to a halt. No, of course not. Ha, huh, that's it. It's the paying contest. The it's contest a... hasn't ended yet. Why, no, it's a last man <clears throat> woman standing competition. Oh, who's winning? <clears throat> As if you had to ask, man. <laughs> by my count, the current leader by a thick crust is Mrs. Gabberly. Hogwarts! What? Woohoo! Bullshit. Mm, and I'm relishing every bite. Yes, <laughs> I'm just getting. Warmed up. We'll see about that. Mr. <laughs> Wallace, would you mind bringing Paneer this slip of paper here when you've a moment? Right, oh. Yeah. Funny thing about this. 
The, the this, this, oh god, his shoulder. Continues to shovel pie down his gullet. But the Major seems to have met his match in Vinny, the Wonder Nosher. Anyways, um, I actually modeled him to be a bit fatter in this, <laughs> this episode. It's but, meat and pies that by dawn, and by heck, look at that crust fly! Yeah. No. Excuse me, Paneer, Mrs. Gabbley wanted me to give you this. Ah, must be a message to read out for the fair. <clears throat> Testing, one, two, one, two. All fair goers are cordially invited to attend Mrs. Vinnie Gabberley's victory celebrations to be held later this evening at the Gabberley residence. Uh, that's everyone including Major Croc, so long as he's humbled by defeat and pie fatigue. A scandalous suggestion! You'll regret the day you've taunted a club! <laughs> Let me get back Excuse me, Mr. Premier. Wallace, if you'd like a word, please come up on stage. Okay. There we go. At the munching, Major Chrome is making heavy weather of his mastications. He's going blue in the face. Chrome and Gabbley now putting away pies as if they haven't eaten for a week. Uh, <laughs> a note, Mr. Premier. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Hmm. That's odd. Stop the ride! That's enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Duty calls. There you go. Now. Chock full of donations. But Muzzle doesn't seem like such the dog lover now. Yep. You've fallen a bit behind, eh, Major? Nonsense! <laughs> Enemy propaganda! Don't believe a word of it! Soon as I've claimed victory, I'll be back on my favorite airborne attraction! Oh, right! Good right. And. Low frame rate. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> it's a clash of titans, ladies and gentlemen. The munching major versus the guzzling granny. Oh no. Buns must up. Well, it's. I'm running out of memory. Yeah, yeah, walking works now. Um, but um, crap. Let's so do something. Heavens above! Norbury Blue! Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh god. Old Iron Cinemas. Mm. I'd better get back to the fair and try and save Gromit. Okay, well, not, not baking pies. We can bake pie. Grandma always does. He's just cooking. Um, let's see. Oh, well, nothing to do out here, so um, stick to the fair. Um, what do I do? Okay, wait, maybe another one. Hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Oh, well, uh, uh, perhaps this one isn't for me. <laughs> Your home smells of a patch of mold. Oh, we've the odd bit, I know, but it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, uh, your duty. 
And the action is now really heating up. You have. Uh, just gonna leap through those three. Um. Mm, looks like you and Mrs. Gabbley are about even in the count. Perhaps, but don't let your eyes deceive you. I've a commanding advantage. How's that, Major Crumb? My fighting spirit. And Mrs. Gabbley finishes yet another <laughs> pie. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, look at these. Where did those blighters come from? Who's been pilfering our pies? These aren't yours, Major. Oh, um, why they could be, I suppose. Oh, the rest of me finished pies. The rest? <laughs> what, my stomach told me I'd got through more than just these appetizers here. And Major Crumb has just learned that Mrs. Gabbley <laughs> is in the lead by a most <laughs> devastating pie margin. Oh, not feeling too tickety boo right now. Yeah. I, I think I might have been out pied by the enemy. And it seems the major might be giving up, though he's only nine pies behind. Nine? nine? That's it. I capitulate. I surrender. Hoist the white napkin of chronic pie fatigue. Yippee! I can see her and still just speaks in here. Out for the count. Attaboy, Mrs. Gabbley. Congratulations. Yeah. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you like pies, Veneers Purveyors of Peculiar Produce is open daily for all of your baking and pie eating needs. But I what? can't believe she beat me. I'll never be able to show my face in the officer's mess again. Never mind, Major Crumb. You guzzled gamely. Perhaps you just bit off a bit more than you could chew. Perhaps. A man must know his limits. <sighs> the only thing that can lift my spirits now is a spin on that RAF ride. If you, y you can believe they ate, ate too much. Oh, that way is it moving. I must have put on five stone. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and remember. Uh. Whether you want pakora, pies, puddings, or pomegranates, they're all available at Panier's Peculiar Produce. Love Just pizza. two minutes walk from this fairground. Anyways. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Super Mario Logan, his plush videos. Hilarious. <laughs> Too heavy? Boulder Dash! I was only on her this morning. Oh, just over our limits, I'm afraid, Corporal Crumb. You must have piled on pounds since then. That blinking contest! And I'm a major, don't you know? Aye, a major liability. So, you're banned, for safety's sake. Perhaps go for a jog or summit, and work off some of that extra weight. <sighs> I remember, I was supposed to do something here. Make that look fake. You mean you weigh every rider? Each and every one. I can't have any big berthers putting my business and um, my uh, uh, my charitable enterprise in jeopardy. This is do something. Paneer's peculiar produce for all your favorite foodstuffs and some you probably never knew existed. How much pie did you eat, Major? Not enough, clearly. That old granny has a devilish appetite. Probably possessed by a parasite or two. <laughs> Family of tapeworms living inside her, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> and now you can't ride your favorite ride. Oh, what a pity. Over the limit, I'm afraid. Bureaucratic nonsense. Never used to fret about namby-pamby weight restrictions in the army. We'd cram 20 men in a truck, three on a bicycle, five in a bunk. 
but you're only slightly too heavy, Major. Yes, so I'll stand here till I've dropped the weight. With a finely tuned metabolism like mine, I'll burn it off in a few short hours. Let's have a look. No. Ah! Sure you can't allow the Major on the old muzzler? He's just over the weight limit. Uh, Dan, risk it. If you operated your own fairground, you'd understand uh, wealth and safety. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, health and safety regulations. Uh, Looks as if someone's already won. From the grand prize of one gum. Pickle to preserved and fresh to frozen. Baneer's peculiar produce has it all. Plus, we also oh, sell shit. umbrellas, <laughs> beach balls, They're indoor really barbecue equipment, and a full range of Nothing. domestic fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers? Wait, what? Something about fire extinguishers. Yeah, it was. That's it for this episode. Or this part. Just... Yeah, I know. I wanted to get through it too. Oh well. Next episode. Anyways, Mr. Almost One Fan. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Muzzled. Hi guys.